All right, this is KD2GIY with another radio video. So today we're looking at the RF 1944 broadband HF series antenna. This is a great antenna. I've used this in the wild. Uh, it covers 1.6 to 30 megahertz, 150 watts uh, average. I usually don't do that. I don't run uh, amplifiers in the field. But I'm going to show you the components and how it would be set up. So this is the diagram on the instructions. Here's the ballon right here. This is a, a weighted line that gets thrown up in a tree, so you pull the ballon up. This right here is the coax, BNC. Everything is BNC. And then it goes to a line that goes uh, to a load resistor, and that terminates to the ground. you got to ground that, put that in the ground. And this is a stake that holds the antenna, uh, I guess, nice and taut. And the same thing on the other side. So you got the ballon, which is good, again, for 16 to uh, 1.6 to 30 megahertz, 150 watts. Here's your BNC um, coax. The coax is uh, provided in the kit. And these lines, I mean, obviously it's not to scale, uh, you, you need you, you need a you need some space to put this out because uh, I remember I had to I was camping and I had to go into the woods just to bring this totally out. I actually got bit by a tick that uh, trip. Woke up with a nice bullseye in my arm. Same thing on the other side. It's I, I guess it's balanced because uh, both sides are exactly the same. Same thing where it terminates into the ground with the with the rod and everything you need. I mean. Got the bag right there. Get everything. I've worked the world on this antenna. Um, I, I suggest if you find it, I mean, anything under $300, that might be a, a great deal. But these things are hard to find. I mean, the quality of this, I mean, very super beefy. And uh, it comes with everything you need. It even comes with throw weights um, to bring this up and everything that you need. So... Just wanted to show you guys, 7-3.